as the world turns. That's an experiment that was done at the Good Housekeeping Institute to show... That's the way you want it, isn't it? From CBS News. In Dallas, Texas, three shots were fired at President Kennedy's motorcade in downtown Dallas. The first reports say that President Kennedy has been seriously wounded by this shooting. More details just arrived. Follow Todd and Link to a mountain adventure with a pretty girl on Route 66 tonight on the CBS television network. We will keep you advised as more details come in. The incident has taken place only in the last few minutes in Dallas. Stay tuned to CBS News for further details. I've got a hunch. Hmm, I see you have a new family. The youngsters are such a big responsibility. Stay tuned for further details from CBS News. Information just in. Acting White House Secretary Malcolm Kildrup was asked whether the president was dead, and he said, I have no word now. The president had landed. Down on the way to that meeting from the airport. He got the president apparently with the first shot in the head and then Governor Connolly with the next two shots. Current political motivations or moments of shock, stunned grief. The leader told assembled reporters simply, he was a man who contributed so much and deserved so much more in return. Right. We do have some word here as to as to um, what has, uh, where some of the members of the FBI director, J. Edgar Hoover, called the FBI office in Dallas and ordered an all-out investigation of the shooting. The 36th president of the United States, Lyndon Baines Johnson, will continue uh, the President uh, Kennedy's policies with which he seemed to be in firm agreement during these three years of the Kennedy administration. There from a workman around the house who uh, came running to the uh, lawn where Mr. Kennedy was resting with the news of the assassination.